Should we still be flying as private pilots? Isn't sitting in a cockpit on your own the ultimate form of self-isolation anyway? I asked other pilots and aviators what you thought and I'm gonna share the results today and share some stats on just how many of us think that it is still okay to fly even though we're supposed to be social distancing right now. The rules and regulations are obviously different across multiple countries and these are really unprecedented times. But here in Australia right now on the health.gov.au website, we're currently being told at the time of filming, I know things change all the time right now, that we should be practicing social distancing and that means we should stay at home unless is absolutely necessary. However, when looking at our general aviation airports on flight radar like Moorabbin here in Melbourne where I fly, Bankstown in Sydney, I can still see that there are some general aviation aircraft out there and flying. Now general aviation obviously goes all the way from student pilots who are starting to learn in busy flying schools all the way up to private pilots who might be able to go to the airfield, jump in their own aircraft, fly, return home and not see anybody throughout the entire process. And the question remains, wherever you sit on that spectrum, is it still okay to fly then as a private pilot during these times? So whilst it seems that some aspects of private aviation are continuing to move along at some extent, commercial aviation obviously has been hit hard. Thanks to Patrick Itis who sent me some of these pictures on Instagram. These are great shots. He was down at Avalon Airport and you can see the Qantas A340s, there's the Jetstar A320s that are just parked up and not going anywhere. And yet if you pan up from those aircraft and look up into the sky, you can literally see general aviation and private aviation aircraft doing their training at Avalon Airport. Students are shooting the ILS just like I used to do a couple of weeks ago. Is that okay? So I asked your thoughts on this on my Instagram Instagram account and thank you I was inundated by messages I gave you the option to remain anonymous if you wanted to a lot of you asked to remain anonymous because you're obviously talking about a fairly delicate subject here but what I've decided to do is just to keep everybody anonymous because this isn't about judgment to the individuals this is purely about what's the kind of landscape like at the moment and what do other pilots and aviators think about flying privately in these interesting times. I divided the responses up into six key areas. The first area is those that can't fly because there is a country lockdown going on, the airspace is closed, or the airport that they fly out itself has closed. No, because in Germany it's not allowed anymore. No, the airport is closed. This is from Venice in Italy, and we've obviously heard what's going on in Italy. From France, no, we must stay quarantined at home already, two weeks done four weeks to go. Again, someone else who's confined in France here. The CAA, the Civil Aviation Authority in New Zealand has stopped all non-essential general aviation flying. Belgian airspace has been closed for all VFR flying. In Italy, obviously, we've seen that people are grounded. A viewer from South Africa said we've got a total lockdown and not allowed to travel to the airport. Norway, the same as Belgium, where their airspace has been closed for all VFR traffic as well. And that also counts for uncontrolled or Class G airspace too. The second group of responses then, obviously from student pilots who can't fly because flight schools have closed. This viewer's flight school has decided to cancel all training until further noticed. Another person's flight school is closed and their airport on top of that has closed as well. Another flight school that's closed. The flying club has stopped all operations and all training. RMIT, which is down here in Melbourne, has understandably ceased training, according to this user, for the near future. The third category, and this is the one that really got to me, and there weren't a lot of responses in here, but the ones that you read are genuinely heartbreaking because these are the people whose jobs have been temporarily suspended, the work just isn't there, or their jobs have ended entirely. This viewer is a commercial pilot, the company they work for has basically shut down. A helicopter pilot has said that all the tours have been canceled. Someone who flies privately, but obviously like the rest of us, we have to find money to fly privately. They no longer have a job, so they no longer have the ability to pay for their flights. And this user was supposed to be moving to the USA for a new job, but obviously with the travel restrictions, that's not happening right now. So their future's entirely unknown. Then the next three categories are all the people who have a choice. So they can fly privately, but are these people choosing to or choosing not to fly? This person's a recently graduated pilot. Obviously they're so unlucky with the timings at the moment. No, I put my PPL training on standby in order to minimize any risks. Not flying at the moment, reason being the lockdown here and trying to take no unnecessary trips. With flight training, I've decided to stay away until things start to calm down and get better. In a flight school situation, this person's obviously worried 
about lots of people using the planes and the cockpit could be an infection risk. This person's had to cancel their PPL check ride due to the risks with COVID-19. I agree, it's very sad to see this. This user says, no, being shoulder to shoulder while cross country with my instructor isn't good social distancing. No, because it's not essential for me to fly. I think it's not worth picking up a virus and bringing it home and infecting others. Then there was a second category of people who are still flying, but they've decided to change their habits slightly. So this person is still flying, but only within Queensland. They're not going near any other borders, following strict official restrictions and area restrictions and cleaning the aircraft after use. This person says the risk of me spreading COVID while solo in an aircraft is almost non-existent. Just wipe thoroughly. Yes, we are using masks and a million and one disinfectant wipes. This person's hoping to rent a plane, but they've got their own headset and they're using hygiene precautions. This person's flying a bit, but with additional safety precautions as required, air traffic has definitely dried up though. And then there's the final category of pilots who've decided, yes, they're just gonna continue flying now exactly the same way as they flew before. Yes, as the skills I've learned are very perishable. Yes, because nobody else is flying, it's prime time. Yes, I'm working to become a private pilot, so I'm time building for my instrument rating. I have to for uni, but it's mainly solo nav hours, so it's not that bad. This pilot's still flying, but with no passengers, only wingmen, I can socially distance from the cockpit. Again, this pilot is, but without passengers. This person flies out of an airfield in Tasmania and they're not concerned about community transmission over there. Another pilot from Tasmania. This pilot says, yes, for private hire, it's an opportunity to take family as no one is flying. And this pilot says, just circuits, too hard not to if the skies are blue. So what I decided to do was to go through every comment then and categorize it into each of those six areas. But just for interest, here's a bit of a breakdown then on how people answered that question. Are you still flying during these coronavirus pandemic times? Of all the responses I got from those that can't fly at the moment, here's a breakdown on the three key reasons why. 10% off you weren't flying because the company you work for has closed or the job that you had in aviation no longer exists. Then if the remaining responses, it was exactly exactly split 50-50 between the fact that either the airport itself has closed or the flying school that you're training at has closed. I then took all those people out and then only looked at those who can fly. But for those of you that have a choice to fly, 8% of you said that you are still flying, but you're being more cautious about it. 29% of all responses said that no, in these times, you're just choosing not to fly at all. But 63% of all respondents who had the option of whether you can fly or not came back and said, yep, you're gonna continue flying exactly as normal. I asked the same question on Instagram just with a basic yes, no split. 71% of you saying yes, 29% saying no, you're not. Just two other comments then that came out of all of this, which kind of will help me make this final point. The first one was, how do you decide if a private flight is essential or not in these current circumstances? Shrug emoji. What are the legalities of flying during these times, especially when Australia says non-essential travel? This is where the confusion is in my mind. I wanna go flying. I haven't been flying for over three weeks now, which for me is actually quite a long time. My aircraft is sitting there in the hangar, a hangar to which I have a key for. I can jump in the aircraft. I can go fly wherever I want in this country. I can come back, land, come home without seeing anyone. Even though I won't physically have to see anyone, I'm still to some extent interacting with people. There are aircraft engineers, the team from Blue Demon who touched my aircraft after I touch it. There's all the door handles and getting in and out of the aircraft, the hangar doors, etc. If I need to refuel the aircraft, I'm gonna to have to either use a fuel bowser and pick up the pump, or I'm gonna to have to speak to the refuelers asking me to sign things, picking up pens, credit cards. Then there's the question of incidents. If something happens in the aircraft, what if the emergency services have to come and assist me? Could they be better deployed somewhere else? The same goes just driving to and from the airport. Do I really need to be on the road at that time just because I'm driving to the airport to go and take Echo Yankee Zulu up for a bit of a jolly? So if you're at home not flying, or if you are out there and flying and you wanna share your stories with the community, remember there's no judgment here. Whatever people say down below, please don't jump on other people's opinions, but share honestly and genuinely how you're approaching this time at the moment. I genuinely do go through the comments, especially in the first few hours after releasing a video. So I'd really love to interact with some of you and, and just hear what you're doing in these interesting times as a private pilot. Okay, give us a like if you enjoyed that. If you are new to the channel and you love your aviation, do click on subscribe. I promise the moment we can all get out of here, I'm gonna be putting a lot more interesting non-sitting at desk based content here on the channel for you fellow aviators and pilots. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you soon.